Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys five iPhone hacks that I think you must try on your iPhone running iOS 18. And the first one will be this one right here, creating a 3D look on the home screen of your iOS 18 device. And you can see how awesome this looks. We have these like shadows right here that give the home screen that depth look, that 3D look. It actually looks amazing. It's actually very, very simple to create. All you have to do is go ahead and download the shortcut, which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. The shortcut is this one right here. It is called Home Screen Creator. Now, all you have to do here is add those shadows to the places where you're going to be placing icons on your home screen, like these right here. I just want to place icons here and here. So I add shadows to the wallpaper only on these places. And this is how you do it. So you run the shortcut right here. And the first thing you want to do is, of course, select your wallpaper. So you tap there, it takes you to your photos library and select the wallpaper from there. And once you have selected your wallpaper, it will give you a preview of that wallpaper. You tap the done button and then tap on yes add elements this will take you to your short to your files app app actually and you will have the folder right here so you go to a files app and you will have here this folder called home screen creator you go there and then tap on content and then go to icons right here now you will have the chance there to add those shadows that 3d look for widgets as well but first of all let's go to icons here and you will have a few like different options here so you will have a big shadow you will have a bump right there or shadows to the right or the ones that i have set up on my wallpaper currently that you saw right there is this one right here sh sh shadows depth long so you can go ahead and pick where you want to add the shadow so if you just want to have a full home screen of icons you can just pick that one or if you want to choose the position where you have icons you can do that so let me just show you guys how to recreate the one that i had on the home screen so first of all we add the shadows for that part right there and then it asks, asks us if we want to add another layer so yes we want to do that because we also have icons on that place right there so we add that as well and then we have the preview now if you want the three really look to look like much stronger have way more color in it you can just repeat this process once more so tap on yes and add the exact same ones another once another time actually and you will have like way more depth on those shadows now once you're done with that you can tap the done button and you can save the layout right here so when you want to add the same to another wallpaper you can just load the layout you don't have to do that from the beginning so in this case we don't want to save that and it shows us the preview right here tap on the done button there it goes this is how it looks tap done and all we have to do now is go ahead and just save this to the camera roll so tap on save the photos and now just exit the menu and go ahead and set this as a wallpaper on your iphone so once you choose the wallpaper, it shows, of course, just like this. You tap the add button and make sure you disable the blur for the home screen and you're good to go here. And when you go to the home screen, you will now have the depth look. Now, what you can do with this is, of course, also customize it with the new iOS 18 feature. So you can go ahead and add the tint if you want to and maybe even make them large icons. So when you make them large icons, the icons move up a bit. So if you think like it doesn't like adjust perfectly with the wallpaper, you can just go ahead and edit the wallpaper, basically just tilt it a bit and move it a bit up and it will look perfect. You will have these icons with these shadows that gives your home screen a really cool new look. And here is the next one that you must try on your iPhone. This is also not that complicated to create at all. And you can see what we have right here. Basically a blank home screen, but it's not blank. I actually have widgets here, but they're hidden. All I have to do to just reveal the widgets that I have here is just swipe up right there. So there I have a clock widget. I can move to the other widget as well when I want to hide it just like that and it goes away. That's really awesome. Now, here's how you do it. First of all, you will need to download this app right here. So the app here is called MD Blank. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video. Now, once you have the app downloaded, all you have to do is head onto your home screen, 
go to the edit mode and go to the last page where you have no icons and just take a screenshot just like this. Now go back into the app, go to the settings and where it says set transparent background, go ahead and right here and right here, just load the screenshot you just took. Once you have done that, you head onto the home screen. Once you have done that, you just head onto the home screen and add the widget from this app. Now, of course, you can do this with a small widget, with a medium, and with the large widget as well. So there we have the widget we just added. Now, to create that look, we wanna add, of course, another widget on that, so we create a stack. So here we have another one. We can just go ahead and, first of all, edit this one. What you need to do here is tap on the widget, and where it says widget, go ahead and choose, and just click on none, and then choose the position. In this case, we have top right, and there we go. Now we can just go ahead and add this widget to that one to create a stack. And then we have, in this case, we have the Coinbase widget. But if I just swipe like this here, it will actually hide. And you can see now we have two like different stacks of widgets right there that we can hide at any time we want. Next up, I will show you guys how you can hide the dock and also the status bar on your iPhone running on iOS 18. So all you have to do is go to this website, which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. And you will have right here the wallpapers. So what you need to do to set the wallpapers, right here you can see you just need to pinch and swipe up to just remove the blur that the iOS will cause right here at the top and it actually will work perfectly. So you can choose any of these like different colors and go ahead and save this to your camera roll. And once you have it saved, all you have to do is of course now set it as a wallpaper. So we can go here to use this as a wallpaper, make sure you pinch and just move up and tap the add button right there. Make sure you have removed the blur here and tap the down button. And once you go to your home screen, you can see right here, now we have a really clean looking home screen without a dock and also without a status bar. The only thing you will see right there is the battery charge. Now, of course, you can also go ahead and remove the labels here to get that really, really nice and clean look on your home screen. You can see how good that looks it's actually amazing the next thing i will show you guys is how to have extra docks on the home screen of your iphone the way to do that is by using this widget called moyo widgets it's actually pretty cool and on the home screen it doesn't have a label here so it looks much much better even though you might be using the large icons or the small icons you still won't have a label so it looks really clean so head on into the app right here and scroll down here or go to icon launcher and you will have here a few like different designs and you will have a few like different docks that you can use for your device so here we have a few of them if we go right here where it says for you you will find more and these are the ones that i use right here so by selecting this one i can have four other docks so you can see right there we have a set of icons on each of these and each of them can be changed. I can tap right there and just pick any app I wanna add on that place. And of course, launch that app directly from here. So what you can do here is also rename here the different docs. You have here the number from one to four, but you can rename them if you want to. So go ahead and click save right here. It will be saved on the app so what you can do now is 3d touch right here and tap on edit widget and go ahead and choose the widget so here we have the icon launcher choose the transparent position right there in this case we have it at the bottom so we want it to sit right here just close to the current dock that we have on ios and then you can also set the transparency here so again just go to the edit mode on the last page you take a screenshot and then you go into the app and of course just add this screenshot so just tap cancel right there and go right here to transparent tutorial, tap right here to load it. So once you have loaded the screenshot you just took, you go back here, go to your home screen and just like that, now you will have another four extra docs right here. And as I said, these of course work, you can just open the apps directly from here. And last but not least, I will show you guys how to have your name on the lock screen of your device. So the way to do that is of course by going and adding 
as fo a focus mode so i have this one right here it is called i reviews and i don't have anything set here at all so i can just go ahead and tap on edit right there and i can choose the name if i want to and you can see here we don't have any limitations anything so whenever i turn on this focus mode it actually won't affect anything on my device the only thing it does is that it will add of course the name right there on my lock screen so when i go to the lock screen you can see right there i have the name of my device in this case so i don't have any interruptions there for any of the notifications or anything else but i do have my name on the lock screen so that is it for this video guys these are a few different things that you can do on your iphone to make your iphone more interesting and look different from other devices hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did of course subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one